I'm starting off trying to tell y'all that I like, I feel good, okay? And here's why. So it's been about two years since we moved to Florida. I'll say two years and some change. We got here in February of 2020. And literally, we all know what happened in 2020. Um, things just kind of changed the entire world, our social lives, so on and so forth. So it was it was really hard and kind of tough in the beginning um, because thinking that we was go get down here, you know, trying to go out, so on and so forth. Um, it made me just try to create a social life. It just went the opposite way. And then we had Nolan. So that kind of made things, I'm not going to say worse, but it most definitely just put another damper on things because now we're trying to figure out how to get back into the swing of things trying to figure out our life in Florida along with a baby lately I most definitely have been um I've been feeling it I've been feeling the need to get more social it's not ideal to run back and forth and fly to Cleveland um every single time that I want to have social socialization with my friends and family um so I just really have been feeling it, like I said, just just needing that social interaction. Of course, I talk to my family and friends virtually, but to me, that's just not enough. I am like a social butterfly. I have my times where I want to be left alone, but I am a person that thrives off having relationships um, and friendships, or, per se. So like I said, I've just been feeling it a lot lately um, and also realizing that this is really really important for nolan to grow up and be able to have that interaction with other kids um so even though covid is not going anywhere after a while you know we just have to take those precautionary measures to just you know stay safe um and healthy the best way that we can but i just kind of figured that it's inedible so at this point we're we can't just keep trying to run away from the fact that we still have to go on with everyday life, basically. Um, so I just found that it was time. I just found that it was time for me to go ahead and reach out. And when I say reach out, I really hope that especially stay at home moms, moms that are or have uh, moved to a different state where there are really no friends or family around, um, take heed to this. And the first thing I'm gonna say is basically just try to Number one, if you're into social media, look into um, like Facebook groups, for instance. There are a couple Facebook groups that I'm in that are literally catered to like stay at home moms for my area. Um, uh, you know, ethnicity groups, things like that. Um, but just basically those type of things will help you at least try to get a start. There's also like, um, um, you know, play date groups that you can join. So yes, it kind of can be intimidating at first because I was literally telling hubby like, I'm just a little nervous, you know, I kind of am one of those people that just stick to my circle. But how far is that really going to get me? My circle's not here. So now I need to take those steps to do what I have to do in order to flourish and grow for me and my son and our family as a whole because once again, mom, I'm just going to keep harping that we have to make sure that we're straight and in a good headspace to take care of our family. So those type of groups are helpful. Um, most definitely, if you don't have social media, I'm pretty sure there are things um, online that you can maybe look up, events that are happening. Of course, there's things um, like playground, kid-related things that you can take your child to without necessarily having to go through social media. Um, and then connecting with parents and other children like that. You know, if you're constantly going to that same place or whatever, just connect with those parents. But I do think that it's important. And I really am grateful and happy with myself that I decided to reach out and grateful for those that basically responded. Our play date today, when I tell y'all it was basically perfect, like I found a mom that's just like me in a sense where she's a stay-at-home mom, her son is a couple months older, he'll be turning two um, next month, but we literally have a couple things in common. So that's the way that you can find you know, families and other mamas, other kids like yours by connecting that way. It's not gonna happen by just sitting in the house. Um, you know, it's not gonna happen by you just walking around your neighborhood and going outside your complex or, you know, staying at the same park or the same children's play spot that you normally go to. Branch out a little bit and that's really what I was dying for. Like I literally 
was dying for it. I was dying for this interaction. So with me reaching out to that mama, for example, like I was saying, you know, you get experience for things that you haven't done before. She asked if we had ever been to a place called Defy down here in Florida. And wherever you're from, you may be familiar with it. Um, it may be called Sky Zone or it's like a jump zone type of thing. Um, and I told her no, like I kind of figured it was for big kids. So I kind of always looked at it, me, me being me, and was just like, ah, you know, huh, that's not for us, that's for bigger kids. And she said she thought the same thing before she actually took her son. And now that's where they go. Like, you know, her son loves it, hates to leave, and basically Nolan was showing the same actions when we were getting ready to leave. So, you know, that's what I'm saying, things like that. You could tell that it was new for him. So of course he was trying to figure it out, you know, looking around, like, what do I do? not really you know he doesn't jump a lot i mean on the trampoline you don't you, you don't have that every day so of course he was just trying to figure it out but he had a blast you could just tell it was just new um you know the kids there most definitely were um very nice the kids you know outside of the play day there was a lot of other kids there but they were very nice realizing that Nolan and his little play date friend were younger. So, you know, they're taking their time with him, being nice to him. And I really enjoyed it. And that's what I'm saying. Like things like that, you can just get experience for more things that you haven't done. And what more can you ask for? And that's what I'm saying. We always think, you know, oh, well, let's stay away from this, stay away from that. And it, to me personally, I am, like I said, a person that just thinks that more social or other people coming along just makes the experience a little more fun you know i i, I, I kind of swear by it like i just <laughs> i am one of those people that like to have my squad or my village with me so that's just one prime example you never know what can happen you never know what type of relationships or bonds or anything like that you never know how that thing can form without going for it and i am so happy that i did so i really want to encourage you mamas from the bottom of my heart from the bottom of my toes top of my head <laughs> to go out there and try it and try it you may be nervous and even if I you know I honestly will say I'm starting to learn even if you try to step outside your circle a little bit um you know even if you do have your friends and family close by stepping outside your circle you just never know where that can lead you in life so mamas keep doing what you're doing you're doing an awesome job taking care of those kiddos but just keep this in mind and go forward with making those social connections for you and your child see you later